In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new mob spawning changes, and what that's going to mean for your world, your farms, and spawners. So let's get into it. So starting off, as you can see, we are actually on the 1.18 snapshots. Now these are not actual snapshots, but experimentals, which are basically snapshots of snapshots. But it shows off a new mob spawning mechanic, which actually changes the old one. Now the main change to mob spawning is that mobs will only spawn at light level 0, so that means it has to be completely dark in all areas for mobs to spawn. So obviously that changes a ton. So first of all, what does this mean for your world? Well, you'll actually see a lot less zombies and all these mobs in your caves. Now that is mainly because there's a lot more lighting in caves such as lava and uh, glow lightion as you can see. But this also means when you place torches down, they will actually not spawn until you're at a light level of zero. Now you can easily see this if you actually have your textures down or you can hit F3. And as you can see on the arrow up on screen, that is where the light levels are. So just go to like the edge of a torch, as you can see over here it's still level 2, and over here it's level 0. As you can see it has to go to the edge of a torch to actually allow mobs to spawn. So that means you can actually space out torches so much, and mobs actually will not spawn here. So this is very useful to actually know. So this means you can conserve your torches a lot more and not have to torch spam every cave or area near your base. So that is actually insanely useful, especially with these big caves where there is a ton of room where mobs could spawn, you don't have to keep on spamming torches in the exact same area. So that is really great. It is also great for lighting your house, letting less mobs spawn with a little lighting so that you can actually make your rooms darker than normal. But as you can see, a fair amount of mobs still spawn since these caves are massive. So you're still going to have to use torches even though there's some natural light there. But let's go on to how this actually affects farms and things like that. So as you can see here, I actually made a little manual farm. Now this obviously requires you to hit the button so that water actually flies out. As you can see if we hit here on the spawning pad, the water will flow and all of these zombies will fall. So that is obviously really good. Now the problem that old mob farms now have is that they used to use the lava pretty close, like even closer than this, and uh, that would obviously affect uh, the spawning rate since it can only spawn at light level 0. So what's gonna have to happen is you changing lava for uh, these magma blocks. Now these magma blocks, the good thing about them is they don't light up at that much. So that means you could even put them like two below right over here and it will still catch them. But obviously you want a high mob spawner so that less mobs can be affected by caves down here. And to make mob farms more effective you want to light up all the caves around it. So as you can see you're gonna actually need to have a light level of zero as well. That means you cannot use stuff like traditional glass if you want to use that in your mob farm. Which isn't normally done but can be done so that you can actually see the mobs in a manual farm. But I used a replacement of tinted glass that was added in 1.17. But if not and you're just doing it automatically, then you can just do it, all of this and cover it up. Or have one of the big farms that go all the way up to the sky. I'm pretty sure those will actually not be affected since there's blocks above it. But they may be affected because you actually need a side or light will actually seep in. As you can see if we break this, there's too much light over there. So we actually have to cover it up so that no light can go through. So make sure to cover all sides, the floor, and everything. And if you want to use glass, make sure to use tinted glass. Now obviously this one works for most mob farms like creeper specialized, spider specialized, zombie specialized, all that type of stuff. Those should work. So once you actually have the magma blocks over there, you're going to want to put a bunch of minecarts on top of hoppers. So you're just going to want to put three minecart hoppers, just like so, on these four rails. Now they are on top of hoppers, and these hoppers all lead into this chest and this chest. And as you can see, we already got some loot. 
but obviously this is manual so you have to be here and if you didn't know you have to actually be 24 blocks away from the mobs to actually allow them to spawn that is why the platform is over here so we'll just keep all of those stuff in mind when building a farm in 1.18 but I think this change is really good because it allows for more lighting dynamics within your base or it helping you just not spam torches all around in the underground. But for farms they're generally not affected besides the whole lava change. Now some of the many alternatives to lava is you can actually use magma blocks of course. You can use water on top of the magma block to drag them in and obviously get them down or just make them fall on top of it. Either way works, you could also use a wither roses, which actually you can obtain from the wither killing a mob. And these do damage to you over time, like the wither effect, as long as you stand in them. But these can only be placed on certain blocks, so make sure you have something like grass and you can just walk into them. And the last example is Powdered Snow. Now this is a fairly new one, but mobs will actually also get the freezing effect once inside of it and will slowly freeze to death. Now this is one of the more cool things rather than the most effective way, but if you want to just have a creative way of killing them, I think Powdered Snow is the option. So any of those alternatives will work, just make sure you're checking your light levels whenever you're building a farm. But lastly, what did they change to spawners? Now what actually did change with spawners? Now spawners obviously, if they actually only spawn in total darkness just like this, well you could just put one torch down and it would be done. Then nothing else would happen and the spawners will actually be finished. But no, they actually did a workaround to this and spawners actually spawn at a different light level than everything else. So placing one torch will not be effective enough. Now as you can see if I stand on the block that the torch is actually lighting up it gives off a light level of 14. Now spawners actually make mobs spawn up to a light level 11. So you're gonna actually have to spam a ton of torches around. So this is one of the occasions where you're gonna want a ton of torches. And as you can see if we're over here this is actually light level 12 so this is just barely enough but if we broke this torch this would change to light level 10 and they can spawn here which is insane so you're gonna need a lot more torches for this dungeon which i think is actually a really good change making the dungeons a lot harder than even how it was before 1.18 so just keep in mind that when exploring through the dungeons Especially if you're not going to break a spawner. And if you're obviously changing this into a farm, keep in mind that when you're actually building up the farm, you're going to need to put a lot of torches around so mobs don't spawn and kill you. But that is actually most of the changes that has occurred to mob spawning. I'm just making this video to let you guys know what has happened with the changes and I actually think these are really good for everyone. Whether you like building, exploring, or making farms, this is actually good for you. And this will help you a lot when lighting up houses, going a caving, or even just making farms. But anyways, that was it. Leave your comment down below whether you like this change or not. I really think it's good, but let me know what you guys think about it. Remember that all of this stuff is not final and they may change within snapshots. Remember this is only experimental and they can change anything along the way. But I'll make sure to notify you if or when it changes. But anyways that's the end of this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed, if you did remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe even share it with a friend. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.